Morning guys, so today I'm going to try and do my best to film you a day in my life. So I've just got up um, about half an hour ago, I've just done some posing. This is my second low day in a row which is a total of 60 grams of carbs. Um, yesterday I was 273.4 on the first low day and today I was 275.6 which again I've been trying to say on my stories is that my body fluctuates in weight so much and it's a, it's a mess and it's really stressful but you know we're sticking to the plan and it's, it's working and it's getting done um so just did some posing went all right so we're now here at the cairo let's go get some work done also i've just taken my pre-cardio supplement which is i use your mind and shreddable just before I do cardio. Um, it's the half an hour appointment, so I'll just take it now and then straight to cardio. So, yeah. Produce these shock waves is through um, it needs an electrical supply to be able to create the generation of the sound waves. Um, but it's Yeah, yeah, so push your arm up that way. That's it. 
push out to the side. Good. Take it there, turn it in, push across your body. Wow, the pec's not far enough too well. Push up that way. And the <coughs> deltoid too. Push up one more time this way. Okay, can you turn your head right, push your arm to the door. Turn your head left, push to the door. Yeah, see it weakens that way. Turn that way again, push to the door. So much, better, much better that way. Yeah. Just watch your Still that that joint there. Okay, just turn your head to the right a little bit. Jump. Oh. <laughs> push your arm to the door again. That's so weird. Up there, turn that way, push across. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's check that jaw again. So clench your teeth, push your arm to the door. <coughs> and it weakens again. Okay, clench your teeth. Push to the door. Good. Keep them clenched. Push to the door. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that release both sides on your jaw. The finger and mouth top. Yeah. What did we do last time? We did something my hips, didn't we? Uh, yeah, your SI joint. It was the right one. Yeah, because I couldn't lift my legs up. Yeah. So it's just quite common the more depleted you get to when you're cutting and so the body just goes like this. So when I'm walking now I can feel like yeah. my hips my hips You get like the strength back again once you're through that. Okay, maybe when you're ready open your mouth for it. Aren't engaging properly, you're then going to start to use your core a lot more. Like, so if I train abs, I feel it in my hip flexors. Yeah. Does that mean anything? Well, in that instance, it would mean that your your core, once it starts fatiguing, that then you're starting to recruit your hip flexors more for that purpose. Particularly your psoas, which sits more kind of deeper into the groin, um, and your iliacus, which is quite again quite a deep one in there. Mm. You'll start recruiting that. Come on your side, facing them. Okay, bend your knee. Feels very tight. <laughs> Breathe in and um, that's all good. On the other side, like, I can feel it here. Yeah, is that the SI yeah. joint? That's the SI joint. Come on, side facing me this way, mate. I mean, you can do you can do some general stretching on it just yeah. by laying like that, yeah. and then just having the leg drop over. Like you yeah. can stretch it out that way. Sometimes you get little releases too. Straighten out your bottom leg. Sunday. He's got to clean the bench now because I'm a little messy. <laughs> <laughs> Cairo done. I feel, like, I feel like James hates me because every time I go in there, I go, Oh, well, so I've got this wrong, this wrong, and that wrong. Basically, fix it now, please. <laughs> but no, 
it's crazy, it blows my mind, some of the things, like, all right, turn your neck, neck right, and now my arm's much stronger, or clench your jaw and you're half as weak. But it's crazy, it just shows you that this sort of maintenance, repair, whatnot, really helps performance too, it's not just injury prevention, you know? Like, since I've been seeing James, I've been seeing him once, twice a week at least, and it's really, really helped my training, you know, especially when I'm dieting and it's hard enough and you get a few niggles here and there, but it's been a really big benefit. So thank you to him very much because it's a big help. Oh, look whose car it is. Mr. Jonathan Berry. So we're just to drive, arrive at the gym. Gonna do my cardio now. It's 10.37 and my seatbelt thing keeps beeping. But yeah, got 60 minutes on the treadmill to do and then go home I'll eat one meal which will be turkey bacon almond butter come back and train arms with John as most of you know I love the vaso burn I, I always use it every time I prep I use this on my midsection hamstrings glutes uh, it's really painful if you haven't used it maybe give it a go but I um, put it on and then I put this belt on um, However, because we're getting closer to the show, I've stopped using it because I feel like it makes me hold a bit more fluid than normal. So now I'm just using Vaso Dry, which is their diuretic version, to try and excrete some more fluid from around the body, you know. Um, I put that on, and I'm just gonna put this on. So, put that on. Woo! <laughs> Just like that. And so I, I normally use a, I have a corset that I wear as well, but I have this issue where if I wear it for cardio, it gets drenched in sweat. So then I can't wear it for the rest of the day. So I resorted to just using the sheet belt. I just whack it around over the top. Just really keep my midsection in tight. No. Ooh, just walking. Walking into the gym for cardio. Woo. Definitely won't be able to do it with all these fucking stimulants, I think. <laughs> so, here's a sexy treadmill. Specialist that I'm sick. So, this is what you have to do in my world. Put this over the time, what it feels like you're here all day. You know? So, I'll see you in 60 minutes. Cardio finished, 60 minutes on the treadmill done, three and a half speed, three and a half incline. I've, uh, this, this session today, I was just, I found this interview with Dorian, it's a recent one, Escape Your Limits, uh, it's really, really good, good help gets from a mental good place of cardio, you know, it helps, helps me realise that what I see in my mind is one day going to come true too, so, anyway, now head home, get our first meal in, oh, in the car, let's cardio finish, some days, I find it really hard, you know. Some days cardio's easy, some days it's really hard. It's really weird because it can be the same all day variable, same food and whatnot. It depends where your mental state is at, I believe. I mean, I'm very strong mentally powered, but sometimes I'm just kind of dragging, you know. There's a lot on my mind. But all done, you know. I can't, can't, can't let that get me, get me down and not do the job at hand. Um, so yeah, drive home now. So I'm not really a heavy sort of music sort of guy, you know. I like this sort of stuff with Ed Sheeran, Lewis, Lewis Capaldi. You know? I feel like a bit of drink now and then, but 
Home. Now it's time to go and get my first meal. It's quite sunny here in the UK. Here, fun fact: this Audi coupe here, 1980, my dad's had longer than I've been alive, and it's a very nice and rare car. What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, let's open this door. Get my first meal on, because I'm starving, Marvin. And if you guys, if you don't have an air fryer, then you're missing out on life, because they are absolutely epic. And by that, air fryer, I mean this. This is my baby, t -Fal. He's the good one. All the good one, you know. First things first is I need to get changed because I'm absolutely drenched and I feel disgusting. So that's the most important thing to do right now before I... So here we are, meal one. However, first, these are just a mock-up of some clothing that I'm having made that will be here in the next few weeks. Um, Simon Leong was the guy that made this cartoon and I think it's really cool. Let's go. So what I do is I have two packs of turkey bacon this um, it's very good I love this it tastes really good and what I do is I have this tea fowl air fryer looks like inside and then I'll just lay it in it's not not and there's not enough room in here to completely lay it all out so I just do like three or four slices over each other and then turn it see it's like that whack it in here turn it on 180 degrees 15 minutes and about seven minutes in I'll turn it over um, also part of my meal one is this absolute beauty oh this is just god if you haven't had it before it's uh, Costco's almond butter I have 20 grams of almond butter with my first meal so let's dish one A little clearer. So, teaspoon. Scale on. I could literally eat this whole jar in one. Oh, it's been too much. There we go. 20 grams. Yeah, this is the best dawn bar. Oh, I accidentally got some on my finger. I must have parked my 20 grams there. <laughs> it's literally nothing, is it? 20 grams of bar. Hey. Oh well, it's amazing. I wish I'd have ladies all day. I wouldn't be able to get through prep without them. 10 calories, low jellies. With my first meal, I eat, yeah, I eat my lot tonight. But these two, and my turkey bacon works done. I can't even wait to go and sit down to finish this off. So good. <laughs> As I uh, didn't actually show you myself weighing myself this morning. 
is 278 plus I'm holding the camera and I have a t-shirt on now plus that's half a cardio three two and one yeah Woo. check that out my baby Woo. all right so sitting down for meal one which is that turkey bacon all I've eaten them all but I read about this is the turkey bacon Mm. Also, when I have my first meal, I take a lot of my health supplements. Um, I have this greens powder, mix it with some vitamin C. Um, and then I take the liposomal glutathione with the liposomal curcumin. Also vitamin B12 and then I have my my daily health saps which I've actually already done a video on so if you've watched that you'll know what's in there. Now just time to eat, enjoy my food. Um, with most meals, I take ravenous digestive enzyme and RPG, the glucose disposal, but no carbs in this meal, so I'm just going to take ravenous as I just tested my blood glucose and it's 82 anyway, so pretty low. Well, it's alright, but I don't want it to drop. So, two of those. And then, eat me a one. My lovely turkey bacon. Eating me a one while watching Chasing the Gifts with Nathan and Matt. It's nice to watch stuff like this when you're on prep. I find just not, not as a motivational thing, it just kind of helps you feel on the same level or something sometimes. So, vitamin B12, it's pretty cool. Three sprays. And do a teaspoon each of these guys. It tastes really strange, but it's weird. It's a, it's a weird strange, it's kind of nice. What's that? Now we're going to do that green shake. Which will be two scoops of GI juice, which is red corn, greens powder, yes I'm very messy, I know, mum and dad moan all the time, <laughs> I put some vitamin C in here as well, oh, so enough, not much left, so that's gone. <laughs> So this just turned up. I mean, I've got another tripod, but it's huge. So hopefully this is going to help the rest of the day. Woo! A bit of a weird one for me because I've always, I always used to buy Ultimix uh, back when I first started bodybuilding when I was younger, and now they actually sponsor me. So it's really nice, you know. I love this. These are the true shoe, true shoes to train in. These bad boys. So yes, this is actually part of my meal because my carbohydrates are so low. We go for. A voluminous approach right so I use these little bags of popcorn here um, with eight grams of carbs per bag 63 calories so my 30 gram meal of carbohydrates means I'm allowed three bags of these and it's really 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 fucking good little trick for you guys 
So, just about to head off to the gym, train arms with John. Got a good friend of mine, Paul. A uh, friend of mine, I went, I went to school with his son, and he's into training now, and has been for the last year, and he's, uh, John coaches him, and he looks great. He's been doing it for about a year now, and he's really in good shape, and he's doing a photo shoot soon. So we're just gonna train some arms with him. It'll be good fun. Just eating me popcorn, and then I'm gonna head off and train. Um, in terms of supplements at the moment, he's cut my EAAs, my favourite. And in terms of pre-workout, I have to be a bit careful because he seems to be messing up my stomach because there's not a lot of food in there at the moment. So I'm just I'm taking out Chemex Lifestyle one with Stimulax, which is strong. They seem to be working and going down well. So let's go kill some arms. Everything's mental. Everything's support. Oh, you break your reality. Just arrived at the gym. So I'm just living a need virtual some motivation world today. Coming in the terms it. of big old dogs. Well, you you build your story with your with your mind. You know. And I built this story. I wanted to be Mr. Olympia. We're excited. Paul's in the house. Paul's here as well. Where's he gone? He's over there in the corner looking shredded. And then John's just hiding behind me somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just before we start arms, I'm going to use the hyperbolt. Have to loosen up the bicep a little bit. Uh, oh, indeed. What's going to be my best shot, John? Rear double bicep, hamstring and calves. I don't know if I can get that detail in there. Oi, Paul. Get him the phone, man. Paul, give him a flex. Give him a flex. Oh, go on. Go on, go. Ready? Go on. Go. Yeah. Go oh, there we go. He's only got the bags there anyway. Paul, how old are you? 55. Yeah, look at him. Looks awesome. He's got a photo shoot on Wednesday. I think he must have a really... Take your vest off. A really good coach. Oh, we're good. Come on. Take, up. take your vest off. I'm up. Show, show, show <laughs> him the abs. Take a step back. Go on. Put that phone down. This is really good lighting, man. Wait, wait, that's, that's oh, the point. lighting's on Ready? point, man. Flex it before you lift it. Oh! Big J. Give me some noise, baby. Come on. Next, next, next damage. 
Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah.